Topanga Canyon. <clears throat> Today we are, um, we actually are on a trip and we did a couple podcasts here. It's freezing outside. It's like 630 in the morning. So a bit of a time change for us, which definitely messes with your circadian rhythm. Your body gets used to a habit and it lives that habit cycle. And then when you move or you travel, you have to rebuild your cycles. So let me know how you're doing in the comments. It's absolutely beautiful here, by the way. It's a sunrise there. You can actually see the moon on the other end. And it goes all the way around. Very, very cool place. Um, one of the things is we were in Vegas for a podcast the other day. And, uh, and I pulled the water report after having a shower. I had a, an, a reaction to it. And my skin went immediately dry and I felt dehydrated and my fascia felt sticky. So when I would do a fascial maneuver, it felt like my skin was tearing. And uh, that's not a good sign, just from a little shower. So I looked up the water report and you can do this on ewg.org. They have a water database specifically for the United States and it tells you what is found in the water. Now there's 300 times the levels of arsenic. There's a very high level of chlorine in that water and a bunch of other chemicals. And, uh, and one of the things that I've been doing some research on just to understand a little bit more as we're teaching the new lifestyle artist program is chlorine and what it does to the human body. Chlorine in your water um, is said to be non-toxic at very low doses. However, I disagree with that being an argument for why it should be in the water because you're constantly being exposed to it. You've got it in your shower in the morning, then you brush your teeth, then you have it in your, in your, your morning drink, then you drink it throughout the day, maybe you take a, a bath at night, and now you've had a high dose of it just in one day. Now take that for 10 years and there's going to be a consequence to it. So the argument that it's non-toxic to humans at low doses should never be used to justify why something that's harmful is being put into your water. And um, so anyways, they, I, I found this, this study and it was uh, an agriculture company and they were looking at what chlorine was doing to the fresh water because they were sanitizing the water and they were putting it back into fresh water sources and it was killing the fish. So they had to find and research a way to mitigate the, the chlorine in the water. So they found a dechlorination method called um, vitamin C. And vitamin C uh, dechlorinates chlorine. So it actually makes it so that they could clean the water and then put it back into fresh water sources without killing the, the natural sea life that is in there. And so this led me to looking more into it. You can find vitamin C shower heads. You can also find um, vitamin C bath bombs. Make sure that it doesn't have any other chemicals. So if you're gonna take it a bath, you can throw that in your bath. It'll dechlorinate the water. If you use a, a shower head, it filters the water through before it hits your skin. Um, another thing you can do is you can get a really strong water filter, like an Alcoviva machine that we use. Um, that's like high, high end, um, extremely powerful. It also structures your water, which is a whole nother conversation. And the other thing, uh, Berkey, you could just get a Berkey. They're a little bit cheaper. Um, you just fill it up. It filters out most of the stuff. So depending on where you are, um, there's different alternatives. Now, what does that mean when you're traveling? Okay. So if you're traveling and you don't have that option, um, one of the things that I had to had to do when we were in Vegas after my first shower, I, uh, I, I ended up buying uh, filtered water that was uh, higher quality in a bottle and I just dampened my towel and like a washcloth and used that to wash my body instead. And I immediately felt a difference. So that was very worth it. Um, I would recommend if you're traveling and you don't have any other options, that is one. Another one that you can do is you can get vitamin C, put it in a spray bottle with some filtered water that doesn't have the chlorine in it, and then use that. So there's a bus bunch of different things that you can do. And the reason why we wanna do this is because chlorine, um, what they did is they tested swimmers, and within 30 minutes of swimming, 
in a pool, they found chlorine in their urine samples, which means that anything that touches your skin is absorbed almost immediately. And there, if you go to TikTok, I highly recommend doing this, go to TikTok and type in the chlorine water experiment. And what people are doing right now all over TikTok is they're, they're taking two glasses of chlorinated tap water from their sink and they have chlorine drops and they just drop a few drops inside and they stir it and then the water turns yellow. And if it turns yellow, it means that there's chlorine present. And what they do is they stick their hand in one of the cups. And as they stick their hand in one of the cups, all of the yellow disappears. So what does that mean? It means that the chlorine's being absorbed into the body. Anything that touches the hand or the body or the skin is absorbed into the blood within five minutes. So that validates our theory. So anything that you're putting on your body, if you wouldn't eat it, or you wouldn't want it touching your brain, don't do it. Simple as that. So there's tons of things that you can do about this. Don't be a victim about it. There's tons of things that you can do, but chlorine is dehydrating the skin. It's, it's dehydrating the layers of the fascia so your body becomes sticky, so it can't flow. And if it can't flow, then everything starts to break down as a result. The other thing is it does, uh, what else did it do? It, it actually latches, whoa, it actually latches onto your skin and it stays there. It's really hard to get off. So if you have that vitamin C spray, you can just spray that on your skin, that'll help. Okay, I don't have a good tripod today, so. Whew, and it's cold in LA, man. I can't believe it. Um, so another thing actually while we're here, because the sun's really present, is in the early morning when the sun rises, you can stare at the sun. And um, I had this question about, f well, for many years, but about four years ago specifically, I thought to myself, what is, why is one of the most beautiful things on the planet the fact that we can't actually stare at it? That just didn't make sense to me. And so one day we're sitting, you know, we were watching the sunset and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try an experiment. So I closed my eyes and I stared at the sun. And when I opened them, all of a sudden I could see energy and auras all around me. And I thought, that, that's interesting. I've always wanted to see auras. I didn't really know if I believed in them or not. And uh, at the time, at least. And so I, I had tried. I had heard that they were a thing, but I'd never done it. So I started to stare at the sun with my eyes closed right at the sunrise and sunset. And when I would open them, I could, I could see auras. And then all of a sudden, now I'm really interested. So I started to do some research. And I found a lot of research on people who do do sun gazing. And they, what they would do is stare at the sun for 10 seconds. And they would stare at it at sunrise and sunset. 10 seconds, yeah, I think you could do more than that. Um, you could start with that if you want to. It's mostly the fear that you're getting over, that it doesn't hurt your body. And you're basically staring at all light spectrums. So if you stare at all light spectrums, then anything you look at after that, you're going to see more light. And that's also why things seem darker after sometimes. So anyways, you can make it a daily practice. I've heard lots of good things. I've experienced lots of good things. It helps release melatonin, helps your pineal gland, helps your eyesight, helps you see energy, helps you be more energized. So it's a great way to start your day. I haven't actually done mine today because I'm staring at you guys. So I'm gonna do a minute. If you guys wanna look at it with me, you can. I don't know if you can see it. What I like to do is I like to just stare at it and relax my eyes. And I don't move my eyes at all. And now this is gonna look very dark because that's pure light. That's why um, you know, sometimes people get a little bit thrown off by it, but right now I see purple on the tree. I see yellow. Um, the screen looks really dark and this is a great way to start your day. Everybody should be getting sun. Um, one of the biggest changes to my life was being in Mexico for most of the year when it's sunny and then coming back to Vancouver, Canada when it's sunny there and having sun in your life constantly is going to help you and your body significantly. 
All right, let's see. Makes Sunrise a constant live stream worldwide. Yeah, you know what? I mean, I, I really want to bring people to the Sunrise to share it. I don't know how we're going to do that, but you can do it eyes closed if you want. It still works, actually. The, your eyelid's not that thick. So you can, you can literally close your eyes and it will come in. Um, so chlorine, we did sun gazing. The other thing that I, uh, I've been looking into a little bit more recently is forever chemicals. And if you've never heard of forever chemicals, the reason why they call them forever chemicals is because they last forever. They're almost basically indestructible. And what happens is they, when they manufacture, it's very hard to contain. So it gets into the environment. Once it's in the environment, you can't get rid of it. It also gets into the human body and out of almost everybody they've tested on the planet, they have some sort of forever chemical in their body present. And the reason why is because it's in many of the products that we use. In uh, the, when they, the first version of forever chemicals was Teflon and they used that um, as a primary source for uh, being water repellent, um, stain repellent, it's uh, non-stick so non-stick pans, non-stick cooking utensils, that's really where it came from and it started to expand into all these other versions of it. And forever chemicals are, they're, they're a tough one because they're indestructible, you can't get rid of them. So the idea is, is to avoid them. How do you do that? Well, there's a lot of uh, things that you'll find it in, specifically non-stick, water repellent, stain repellent. You're gonna find it in fast food like, um, to go wrapping and, and, and containers. And you'll also find it in like Apple Watches, uh, Nike, Patagonia, um, Puma. I mean, these are all brands that carry a lot of it. Even some Lululemon has some too. So um, it's best to avoid them. And the best way to do that is to be aware of them and that they're present. And they, just even in a small dose, they are highly, highly, highly toxic to the human body. You don't need a lot of forever chemicals to start to have a negative effect and it impacts your immune system. It leads to cancer. It leads to a whole whack of issues that we have today that we're seeing in society. So here we are, we've got our water and we've got um, like the clothing and, and the stuff we cook our food with and, and, and carry and, and package our, uh, our food in and the furniture, carpets, stuff like that. So it, it is everywhere, but you, with awareness, you can make the changes and you can do something about it. So the reason why the Lifestyle Artist Program were to go more into this stuff is because just one shower in LA, in Vegas had a massive impact on how I felt in my body. And if it's having that much of an impact on somebody who's been removed from it for a while, what is it doing to people that are being constantly exposed to it and don't even realize it? Pigs don't know pigs stink or you don't know, uh, you don't know you're in water until you come out of it. And um, that's the same for chemicals. Your, your body makes anything normal over a period of time. Everything seems normal over a period of time. So if you're exposed to it constantly, your body says, okay, well, there's nothing I can do about this, so let's just make this normal. And the only way you'll know is when you remove yourself from it. And ha you have to remove yourself from it for long enough for you to really understand the effects of it. So go to ewg.org, type in your zip code if you're from the United States, and you can look up the water supply in your area and what they found in there. Um, it's insane what they're putting in the water. Absolutely insane. I can't believe it. Uh, but there's lots you can do about it. That's the positive thing. So that's three pretty significant topics. Why don't we do a movement? Because uh, I haven't done my morning movements. I was going to do them with the sunrise, but we had the live today. So why don't we do it together? Cacao and morning movement. That's how I start my day. Okay. Oh man, I can't stop staring at the sun. So let's do, let's warm up my hands a little bit. So shake your hands together or rub them against each other. EWG.org. Okay, so sh rub your hands together. Now what this does is it creates friction. Your layers of fascia, especially when they're exposed to chemicals or dehydration, they get sticky. So when you rub them together, that friction that you're creating opens up the layers. And if you do this enough, you'll actually feel buzzing and tingling and electric sensation between your hands. 
So hold your hands apart. See if you can notice any energy between your hands. You can even do your knuckles. It's almost like a magnetic feeling. And for those of you who uh, believe that the body is electric and, and energetic, that's great. And one of the ways to understand or validate that is if you rub your feet on a carpet and you shock your friend, you go, Tch. that's because every cell in your body conducts electricity. Okay. Hold your hands apart. Feel if you feel something. If you don't, that's okay. If you're highly stressed, highly dehydrated, or highly restricted, you're not going to feel much or not self-aware. And it takes time. It took me a long time to get to this place where I can feel those types of things. So let's do the, uh, we'll do the, the liver and the gallbladder to start. That's where you hold all your anger, okay? So right hand is gonna go under the rib cage on the right side. And you're just gonna place your hand there. You can push in and you can twist the skin like, I like to do that because that creates friction. Friction releases the layers of fascia. So twist it, left hand is gonna go up and we're just gonna breathe together. So breathe in through the mouth. Two. Three, in through the nose, two, three. Say, I release this anger from my body. Thank you, body. I forgive myself. And relax. Shake off your hands. Let's see the comments here. How's everybody feeling after that? Uh, the effects of water in Vegas, that was a question. Um, it's hard to describe. I felt hungover. My skin felt like it was going to tear. My skin immediately got dry, especially the top layers. So as you start to do fashion maneuvers more, and as you start to hydrate the body, okay, how do you hydrate? You get silica, you get minerals like the Irish sea moss, and you use highly structured and high quality water over time while removing the chemicals. And then you do fashion maneuvers. And what I've noticed over four years of doing this, my skin feels like a baby skin. So when I go to a place like Vegas and I shower in their water, I notice immediately the top layers of my fascia gets uh, dry and dehydrated. And the lower layers get, actually no, it's more top. The top layers, I didn't really feel it as much in the, in the deeper layers because I didn't take a very long shower. Now, if you take a warm shower, you're opening up the pores of your skin and that water, the chlorine is absorbed significantly faster. So I was only in there for like 30 seconds. Um, I feel if I was in there for longer, I would have had a deeper effect, but it creates a deeper tension around the bone, but it's more noticeable. Like if you get into totally twisted and you turn your head, I can actually feel the skin, the upper layers or the top layers of my fascia feel like they're tearing. And it, it blows my mind, but it makes me understand like why people are so sick. If, there's, if, there's, if you're dealing with that every single day, it's really hard to come out of that deficit. Okay, so let's do another one. So let's do, let's see, let's do the kidneys on the right side. So take your right hand, you're gonna place it at the nipple level and wrap the rib cage from front to back. And then you're gonna pull the skin down, left hand on the neck. And then just lean over to the left to look to the right. This is gonna reset, recharge your kidneys, help you with energy, burnout. Okay, so breathe in deep through the mouth. Two. Three. Through the nose. 
two, three. Whew. Shake it off. One of the other things that we're doing is as we travel, we are looking for the organic restaurants and grocery stores and stuff like that. So we're gonna start documenting this stuff, almost like a little travel blog. So if you're in, uh, if you're in Vegas, here's the five places that you can go to that we went to that were good. These are the ones that said that they're organic, but they're not. And we've been defining that and we have lots of ways to test either with our body or um, with questions or analyzing the menu. We have a good understanding of what to look for. So we're gonna be documenting more of that as we go. So left hand, wrap the rib cage from front to back. You're gonna take your right hand on the neck. Pull the skin down on your ribs and then lean over to the right and breathe, and breathe in through the mouth. Two. Three. In through the nose. Two. Three. Okay, that feels good. <clears throat> okay, so let's do something else. We're gonna do something that's gonna take a little bit longer, but it's one of the most powerful maneuvers that you can do to help your body totally twist it. It's a standing fetal position. Whenever you enter the fetal position, your body starts to calm down, release trauma. Okay, so we can do this together. You can do it seated or standing. You're gonna stand shoulder width apart. You're not gonna be able to see my legs completely. Take your right leg, cross ankles over the left. Right hand under the left armpit. Left arm on top. Maybe move this down a little bit. Make it better. There you go. Turn your head to the left and your body to the right. You're gonna breathe in through the mouth. Breathe in. Hold, breathe in more, more, exhale, rotate further, body to the right, head to the left, breathe in through the mouth, more, more, exhale, breathe in, more, more, exhale, Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Two, three, hummingbirds coming to visit me. Come back to center, head to the right, body to the left. Pull in your belly button to your spine and we're gonna breathe in through the mouth, breathe in. More, more, exhale, breathe in, more, more, exhale, in through the nose, out through the mouth, two, three, Four, five, six, Whew. that feels really good. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. One of the other things I want to talk about is uh, as you're cleaning your environment and as you're making these changes, sometimes you're gonna find things that are a little bit more expensive or a slightly expensive, more expensive alternative. And I want you to think of it a little bit differently than how much you're paying for something and think of a, more about an investment in yourself. Because if, for example, you choose to opt out of getting the thing that's right for you and you now put your body into a deficit. 
which means you have less energy which means your production capacity or your ability to generate more for yourself goes down. Additionally, what are all the things that you then buy and do in order to compensate so that you can come back to square one again? So what supplements do you now have to buy because you're dehydrated? Um, what therapist or, or test do you have to go and get because your organs are now starting to hurt? So you're not it's it is more expensive sometimes to get these things but it's a long-term investment in you and your ability to show up as your best self every single day if you can show up as your best self every single day your life will work if you don't feel it and and you know what's funny is we're in this like beautiful place and the first night that we got here after being in vegas like i felt like shit. and it doesn't matter how beautiful the place is it doesn't matter who's around you, it doesn't matter about any of that stuff when you don't feel good in your body. So the number one thing is to feel good in your body, to feel good in your own skin. And if you can do that, the rest of it will work somehow because you'll be in a good mood and you'll, you'll wanna help people and you wanna be more giving and you're more open to receive. And all of this manifestation potential, everything that comes with it starts to open up. So it's, it's an investment in you and it's a long-term investment in you. And I, like, I, I cannot reiterate enough how important it is to create a healthy environment around you, especially if you're in the United States, okay? So let's do the other side. We're gonna do left side totally twisted. Let's get more of a view of the legs here. Okay, left foot over the right foot. Left hand under the right armpit, right arm on top. Squeeze in your spinal pelvic block, so belly button to spine. Turn your head to the right this time and turn your body to the left. Create tension as you twist. Find the tension spot. Now breathe in through the mouth and hold it. Breathe in. More. More. Exhale. Breathe in. More, more, exhale, rotate further, breathe in, two, three, exhale, in through the nose, out through the mouth, in, out, in, out, in, out, good, come back to center, head to the left, body to the right, breathe in through the mouth, more, more, exhale, in, more, more, exhale, rotate further, breathe in, more, more, exhale, nose, mouth out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out. Whew. Come back to center, shake it off. Let me know how you're feeling in the comments. There's nothing like reducing stress in your body first thing in the day. It's weird not having my normal routine because Normally we're on Eastern time, so I do my morning maneuvers and then I do my live. But here we are doing them together, so. I've been doing yoga for four months now and still have this neck pain. Yeah, do the upper body reset on our website. Go to our website, Fashion Maneuvers, and you can find it there. Um, there's also the Fascia Facelift, which is really good. Totally twisted, super powerful. More controlled on the left side. So good, good, good. Yeah, the idea is, is to really reduce stress over time and 
if I reduce my stress a little bit every single day for 90 days, my body's gonna change. My life is gonna change. That's really the ultimate goal here. And once we've reset the stress, we've come back into who we are as a person, we've removed the chemicals, and we're now flowing every single day, the question is who, do, who are you and what do you wanna do with your life? And that's really what Life's Artist Level 2 is. These are all the programs that we've built out. It's a pathway for you to clear out, cleanse your life, reset your body, reset your life, and then decide who you wanna be and uh, what direction you wanna move in the future. We're now starting to partner with more companies who are doing really good things, who have organic and natural products that support the human body and healthy living. And so we're gonna be building a lot of more, a lot more relationships over the next few years, years here uh, because I want the human garage to really be a human garage that has products and services and things that can support people in their health and wellness with the ultimate goal of really empowering you to heal yourself. Hello, doggy. <laughs> we got solar. That's raw, raw earth and Carol's dog. Good morning. It's Pisces. <laughs> okay, so let's do, what do you think about the Yuka app? I've never used it. What's the Yuka app? Okay. Organic shampoo suggestions. To be honest with you, I don't use any. Um, but if you want, go to ewg.org. They have great stuff. Okay, so let's do the next one. Um, let's do anti-gravity, okay? A little bit more of a complex movement. I'll show you what we're gonna do, and then we'll do it together. So you're gonna interlock your hands and fingers, and they're gonna go to the back of the neck on the skin, and you're gonna pull up really tight. Look up at the sky, we're gonna breathe. We're gonna look down at the floor, and we're gonna breathe. You're gonna look up to the right, up to the left, slowly, just with your head. Then we're gonna do it with our torso, and then we're gonna come into a full squat, okay? So this one's a full spinal decompression. It's going to most likely make you feel a little bit high, and the reason why is because we're decompressing the spine, and that includes um, the thoracic and lumbar spine here, where all of our organs and intestines are. So if we, if we open up more space here, you're gonna get a rush of hormones and, and feel good hormones to be more precise. Okay, so it feels really good. Get a little bit high from it. So take your hands, you're gonna interlock them, your fingers, you're gonna place it on the back of your neck. Pull the skin up really tight. Look up at the sky and we're gonna breathe together. So breathe in deep through the mouth. Two. Three. Breathe in through the nose. Two. Three. Chin to chest. Breathe in through the mouth. Look up slowly to the right. Exhale back down to center. Breathe in through the mouth, look up to the left, exhale down, in, right, exhale down, in, left, down, in, right, down, in, left, down, in, right, down, in, left and down good now you're going to slightly bend your knees push your butt back to the wall behind you coming into a full squat pull the skin on the back of your neck breathe in through the mouth look up to the right exhale down in look up to the left exhale down in right down in left down, in, right, down, in, left, and down. Good, now come into a full squat, tuck your chin, tuck your elbows, and just breathe deep through the mouth. Two, three, 
breathe through the nose two three come on up butt first keep your chin tucked for a moment head down and then slowly unwind so you're looking up at the sky Whew. okay that ought to make you feel good wow let's take you on a little tour let me know in the comments how that felt maybe we'll catch people doing their maneuvers wow my nose is running it's so cold for connection over here there we go Everybody. Happy birthday. Hey, thank you. I had a fantastic birthday. <laughs> How's everybody out there feeling? Is it good? Yeah, we just did any gravity. Oh, this is a beautiful said, place down here to do it. My nose is running. It's so cold. <laughs> but it's nice. Beautiful. Kay. Wait, maybe I could turn you guys around. That'll make uh, it better. Okay, this is... It's warm now. Topanga Canyon. That's the ocean. That's Cynthia. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, it's nice. There's lemons everywhere and passion fruit. Yeah. It's like heaven. I was telling them about the shower in Vegas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Not pleasant. Actually, one of the things I didn't talk about was the uh, loud music. We had loud oh. music. We were exposed to loud music, which I now understand is a brain injury. It is, isn't it? It, can, it lasts for a while too. It doesn't go away quickly. No, no. It, what I found happened was it contracted, like it literally contracted my brain. It felt like there was a restriction between my skull and my head and my brain itself, and that, almost like a hangover. Yeah, it did feel like a hangover. Yeah. Couldn't get out of there fast enough. Then. <laughs> well, I couldn't. I mean, if you think of it, it's loud music. It's vibrating your brain at a certain frequency. Mm -hmm. Are you at Raw's place? No, we yeah. are, but we are with Raw. We are he's with up, th he's up there. Yeah. So Jay, how did you, how did you handle that? Cause I know when I was hearing the loud music like that, I just wanted to get out of there. But I, I went inside, kind of calmed my thought and tried to be kind of out of body. But, and then after, um, I still have that, that pounding on your, on the, fascia that you're talking about so what'd you do to like loosen it because people experience that all the time with either in their cars or i i i don't know <laughs> because the frequency is so insane yeah i don't to be honest with you, i don't know i mean i i think i endured it because i knew it was only temporary mm -hmm. and it was against what I would normally do. Normally I would immediately remove myself. Like yeah. I want, I think that was the most torturous thing I've ever <laughs> done to myself in the last four years. And yeah. I will never do that again. It was good contrast, mm -hmm. but the loud music, if you're in, if you're exposed to loud music mm -hmm. that is vibrating your body, <laughs> get out. It's a brain injury. It, it's contracting your brain. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice here. I said uh, I had like to. Heaven. I had to stare at you guys instead of that today. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, any questions? Does anybody have any questions or anything fun that's going on? Or uh, what is a vitamin C shower, shower. head? Oh. It's a it's a filter that they put on, and it uses vitamin C to dechlorinate the water. Yeah. What were they playing? Uh, well, we were at an event, a show. <laughs> And we they were, were they were just playing music super loud. It was not what we expected, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was a birthday thing. And anyway, not something we would normally do. But we, no. how was the Candy Can interview? Absolutely oh. fantastic. It he was is powerful, a, really powerful. You know, he's a very interesting, very interesting person, and very 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 nice, very calm, very humble, mm -hmm. very wise. Uh, very cool person to interact with. A beautiful dad. Yeah. 
Yeah. If you want to. He, he had his baby on him the entire time that they did the podcast. So they actually baby wear. So the baby, their babies are never away from their bodies. And so one of them always has the baby on them, which is the perfect way to raise your little ones is to always never have separation from the newborn or from the baby. And uh, he's perfect at it. He's like got it down. It was beautiful to watch how they raised how they interacted with their children it was oh beautiful. yeah 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 beautiful family he was super calm too like very yeah. calm mm -hmm. um yeah it's always interesting i mean you never really know what you're gonna get when you meet people mm -hmm. uh, especially when they have a following like just because they have a following and just because they create content and mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily define who they are behind that mm -hmm. and he is definitely somebody who um lives and embodies very good values and i look forward to connecting with him more jason and i were watching and uh he actually got gary to tear up at <laughs> one point it's one of the more powerful podcasts that he's done yeah yeah i would say that was one of gary's better podcasts mm -hmm. and i i think that it had to do with i was actually talking about this the other day like if you show up in a podcast oh no if you show up in a clinic where you're gonna get treated for your human body versus you show up to a home and they do treatment on you. There's a very different feeling to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've done many podcasts, some in studios, some in homes, some just on Zoom. And the ones that are always the best are the ones that happen in a home. Mm -hmm. Just like the treatment, when it happens in a home, there's something that comes with that. Um, the interviewer makes a big difference as well but I, I, I can feel that there's like a different energy that comes with being in the house. Yeah. It's like, there's less pressure. It's, it's more grounded and calming and- Yeah, it's more natural. And natural. Yeah. yeah. Comes and, across as a natural conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like he he had a really good podcast. Uh, Sean, um, Ken, Candy Ken asked him some pretty prolific questions uh, at the end. So you'll if you listen to a lot of our stuff, you've probably heard, a, a, a good majority of it in different ways mm -hmm. up until the later middle half where it really shifts um, all yeah. right fun people i'm going yeah. to pop out i kind of hijacked jay's uh live here that's all good. wonderful connect with all of you and anybody uh, everyone who wished me a happy birthday it was heartfelt and i send love and hugs right back and appreciate all of you have Bye a great guys. day. Enjoy more of the view. Bye. Take care. You're going to see Gary on his live soon. So <laughs> we'll see you all later. Thank you for joining me today.